one up here. Well, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I think I speak for the whole crew in that we are just uh, delighted to be here after uh, a very uh, a very arduous nine-month training flow. We're thrilled to finally be in here, uh, be here for, in Florida for, uh, for launch week. Um, you know, this is a day that's uh, decidedly American, um, a day where we kind of reflect on our independence and all the wonderful things that we really have as a part of being uh, the United States of America. Um, I think it's wonderful that you've all come out to join us when I know, and I certainly hope that you'll have an opportunity to go home and uh, when this is all done and enjoy some barbecue, some fireworks, and, uh, and some apple pie. Um, we, have a, uh, we have a very event-filled mission ahead of us. We have 12 days. Uh, we'll be very, very busy. You can tell we have an abridged crew. Uh, and when, uh, when it's all over, I think uh, I speak again for everyone when I say that we'll be very proud to put the right hand bookend on the, uh, on the space shuttle program. Uh, with that, I'd like to introduce to my left the pilot, Doug Hurley. Uh, Doug is a colonel in the Marine Corps, an F-18 pilot, uh, is a veteran of a single space flight, STS-127, comes from Mutsdick, New York, and a uh, graduate of Tulane University. Doug? Thanks, Chris. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Thanks for coming out. Uh, I guess we got the typical Florida hot weather uh, for us this week. Um, on behalf of the crew, we'd really like to thank the, uh, the folks here at Kennedy Space Center. This is where we come to fly the vehicles and uh, ideally where we come back to. And uh, especially we want to thank the, the team that processed Atlantis for her last flight. Uh, they've worked very hard. They've had a very short flow. And we can't thank them enough. Uh, we're so very proud uh, to be here sharing uh, our nation's birthday with you all and the folks here at Kennedy. And uh, we just want to honor uh, the entire Kennedy team that has worked on these magnificent machines over the last 30 plus years. Um, to my left is our mission specialist one, Sandy Magnus. She's a veteran of two space flights, one on uh, STS-112 back in 2002, and then she had four and a half months uh, on the space station a few years back. So she's our station expert, and uh, her biggest task is as loadmaster on this mission. We've got a lot of stuff to bring up the station and then bring home. She's got a PhD, she's from Missouri, and uh, she's been so great to work with. Sandy? Thank you, Doug. It's great to see everybody here again today. I feel like we're all part of one big family since we've seen a lot of you guys during the training flow. And we've talked in the past with you about how we're uh, the tip of a very large iceberg of people involved that get uh, missions ready. And 99% of the success of any mission is in the planning. And this particular mission, uh, our biggest challenge is logistics. And we've had a great team putting together not only what we should take and bring back on the MPLM, but also how we're going to handle it on orbit, all of the transfer involved, all of the complicated, you know, move things from point A to point B without losing anything and, and keeping it all organized. And I just want to take a moment to thank all of those people uh, who have already put so much sweat and tears into getting the MPLM ready, not only the planning team in Houston, the operations team in Houston, but the cargo people here in Florida. We've visited them several times, and with all of the strange foam requirements we've had, they've done a great job getting the vehicle packed, and also the hardware processing people here in Florida who have uh, allowed us to intrude on their work from time to time to look at the MPLM and make sure we understand it. They're a great team of people, and this mission will be successful because of all their work. I would like to introduce now uh, Rex Walheim, our mission specialist, too. He's a retired Air Force colonel. He flew on STS-110 and 122. His expertise is in EVA, although he's now a loadmaster too, so he's come to the dark side. Uh, Rex is a great, uh, a great team member. He's, we're in the same class of sardines. It's been really a pleasure uh, to train with him, and I know we're going to have a great time on orbit. And so, Rex, I'd like for you to step over. Well, thank you, Sandy. It's uh, such a pleasure to come down here when you have a rocket on the pad and it's got your stuff loaded on it. So we're really excited to be here. and. Uh, you know, there's a large portion of our SDS-135 team that has actually already completed their portion of the mission. The flight design team, the planners, and our training team. They've done a superb job, and uh, we're just going to try to live up to their example as we execute the mission. And we'll be able to do that because of the great help of the, uh, the launch team down here at Kennedy Space Center, the mission operations back in Houston, and the payload operations community. So together, we'll, we'll work and we'll uh, try to live up to those great standards that have already been set by our training team and our planners and designers. So I uh, thank you all for coming out and hope you all have a happy 4th of July. <laughs> 